This week, I want to talk about a big feature that I you know, came out with a couple of days ago, and I was basically one of the only reporters to go inside the New York headquarters of a big Neuralink competitor. So if you know, Neuralink is Elon Musk's brain implant company. Um, and so there are actually a lot of other companies, and this one's called Synchron, and it is, um, I believe, a little further ahead of Neuralink. Just really fascinating look at like how implants work and like the fact that maybe we'll all get one someday, and it was just very mind-blowing. Did you find that this there was more realism here, or is it still kind of in that vein of tech optimism that borders on perhaps idealism? What was yes, that? Yes, you're asking like? such great questions. So, <laughs> the CEO was more realistic, and he brought up real issues with you know if everybody had a brain implant, which by the way he expects to make kids available to anyone by the 2040s, and so if anyone could have a brain implant. Um, what would that mean? Like, would that give the company who makes them too much control over your literal thoughts and actions and like what you're doing on these tech devices? And so he was open to discussing things like um, bias, discrimination, even like subversive control, like evil companies. Like he was willing to talk about these ethical issues, which is what I'm interested 